Hey guys, Q here. It's uh, February 21st, and you're watching Friday's Q Quarter. Um, not a lot to talk about today. Uh, I finished Freedom Cry. That was a pretty good game. Um, so, I'm going to have my review up, hopefully Tuesday, uh, so I can get some editing together. And I'll, I'm trying a couple different things with this week's uh, review. Um, so hopefully that'll, that'll turn out how I think it's going to turn out. Um, other than, th other than that, I've been playing a ton of Bravely Default, and, um, if you plan on playing Bravely Default, just a heads up for spoilers, 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 where I am in the game right now, oh, I can't, where I am in the game right now, there's... Like it starts off, you feel kind of bad for Agnes, the um, the water vessel. I mean, the uh, air vessel, because we get into where she's from, and we realize, oh man, like all of her, all of her friends died. Every everyone she's ever known died, like the day that the the ground opened up, um, and you start to feel really bad for her. And then after that part of the story. Everything I've seen so far is um, Adia's father is the leader of the kingdom that's trying, a leader of the uh, legion that's trying to capture uh, Anya's and the other Vestals, um, and he keeps sending like he keeps sending his elite guard or his elite soldiers out to to capture them, and we just keep killing them all. Um, and Adia is. <laughs> Like, you feel bad for Agnes because everyone she's ever known died, but she wasn't there exactly to witness it. And every time Adia meets one of these um, elite soldiers, she's like, Oh, Iharia, I missed you so much. It's been so long. And then we kill her. So, um, the first guy, is, who's really cool, I can't wait to get, <laughs> I can't wait to kill him and steal his job. Because that's how the game goes. Um, he's a dark knight, and he's wearing this cool metal armor. And he's got this really cool voice filter over him. Um, but he's the first one that we meet, and the first thing he says is, "Oh, it's Adia. What are you doing here? I was sent to kill all of these people." And then he's like, "I don't, I don't want to kill you. I've, we've known each other since we were kids. Um, I'm gonna go back and talk to your dad about this." So. It's it's really like we've killed we've killed um, a couple of the so far it's just been three of the um, the Blood Rose Legion uh, the the top commanders in there and each one she's like uh, oh um, I don't even remember their names now because we killed them so quickly uh, oh what are you doing here why are you doing this this isn't what my dad would have wanted um, I've learned so much since I've been away yada yada yada. And they're just like, oh, we got orders from our sister to kill you, so we're gonna kill you. And then they fight, and then we end up murdering them mercilessly and stealing their job and abilities. So there's that. Uh, so I'm hoping that the the story takes a different turn soon for Adia's sake, because we keep killing off all of her childhood friends in front of her eyes. She's she's participating in killing them off, but. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, barely default. Freedom Cry. All of them playing. I, I finished Freedom Cry in just a couple of hours. I was surprised. Um, I was expecting more from an Assassin's Creed game, but it's it's only a fifteen dollar DLC pack, so I didn't expect a lot. I guess or I shouldn't have expected a lot uh, from that. It was a good experience for for what it was. So, but yeah, you'll hear more about that in my review. Um, Bravely Default, what else am I doing? I haven't really done anything else, to be honest. Um, I wanted to go back through The Last of Us Left, Left Behind, only because it was so good, I want to play through it again, and, um, and see what's going on with that. So I might do that sometime this weekend, while my little brother has this computer, uh, and, I'm un un and I'm unable to edit <clears throat> but other than that, uh, I guess for tomorrow's video, 
since I don't have my partner, I guess I'm just going to try to look through and see what new stories stood out to me this week. Um, so I can see about, you know, researching those and talking about them on my own. But, I don't know. I might just do a simple Q's quarter tomorrow. The last, Q, the last you know, four Q, four, the fourth quarter for this week. Um, and then next week, I don't know what game I'm going to play. Thief is, of course, coming out. I've seen lots of stuff on Thief. But nothing yet that really attracts me to play it. Um, I might, if if there's a chance, I might try to pick it up for um, uh, like pre-owned, so I can rent it. Um, if if that if if a pre-owned copy comes back uh, within the week, then I'll I'll make that my my console game for the week. My review for the week. Um, Killzone just got a price cut down to thirty dollars. No, I mean forty dollars. So that's cool. I might try to pick that up because I I did enjoy Killzone. Not so much the story. Besides besides the main campaign being beautiful, the entire game is beautiful. Um, but the multiplayer was really fun because you start off multiplayer, everything is unlocked, everyone's on an even playing field. So there's no like. There's none of those moments like, oh, he's level 50, so he's obviously going to win this firefight. He has better guns, he has better equipment. I have new equipment. There was none of those moments because everyone has the exact same stuff. And I enjoy that in games. Um, I do enjoy the race of leveling up and unlocking things. I enjoy that because it's addicting. Just like every other, every other person is addicted to Call of Duty um, and Titanfall when it comes out. Uh, it's going to be very addicting just because you have so many unlocks. Um, but I appreciate games that are just like, hey, here's our game. There's no there's no competition. There's no, like, you can enjoy this game fully from the beginning. We, you don't have to slave away hours into my game. We're not adding things. We're not adding levels and, and a level up track to, like, draw more hours of gameplay out of you. We're not we're not forcing you to try to play more hours so you can be good at this game. We're just giving you everything at the start and saying have fun. Um, the only the other thing I would I would have asked for from Kill, from Killzone was more content because what they did give you was fun, but there wasn't that many guns and there wasn't that many maps. Well, I mean they were a good or they were a good amount of maps, but I would I mean I would just I always want more. I always want more maps um, and character customization with Killzone. The only way they would have hooked me more into the multiplayer is if they had everything unlocked at the beginning, like equi equipment-wise. And then as you level up, you level up and unlock um, cosmetic equipment, like they did in Halo Reach. I really like that because you know Halo, everything, everything is the same. Everyone starts with the same guns for the most part, and uh, you, all the guns are on the level. And then everything you unlock is completely cosmetic. I really, really, really enjoyed that. I want to see more of that in future multiplayer titles. So, uh, I think that's everything I have to say today. Um, I'll look up some stuff that happened this week and talk to you guys again tomorrow, Saturday.